Okay, so the maps will be um, Aztec, Seagull Breaker, and Sulfid. Mm, in ZVZ, it shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, it shouldn't. But it's always like the style of the player compared to the um, to the to the to the to the map. It always matters. So you know, but a three players map usually one uh, Zerg player will go in the incorrect. Uh, direction with his overlord that could favor uh, a player this, that uh, spawns in a certain uh, position. Yeah, the scouting patterns, right? Yeah. Okay, are you ready, Mr. Mazur? I'm ready. We can go. We can go with game number one. You know, guys, each time uh, we start the game, I'm uh, pressing you to speed up the replay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> speed up the first two minutes at least, right? Yeah, uh, each, each time automatically I want to press you to speed it up. <laughs> now we have to like use this time to build the tension because this is uh, the match. Uh, like, we so will see who will, yeah. who will who will join Mr. Kingdom. Uh, to advance from group E. Yeah, but look at this counting pattern. I said something and the players showed me wrong. Both players are going in the incorrect direction. Yeah. <laughs> so it will be at least even match because none of them will have advantage um, yeah. that is scouting. Hmm. And Mr. Ku won um, before 2 to 1. So I'm wondering what he will prepare for us. Um, Both players started it with over something, so probably over. Oh, gas! My clue, gas trick. So he oh. played like this. He played on like this on Salfit, if, if I'm correct. Yeah. And you can vote if you are voting for Ku or for Lumire just by typing explanation mark vote. Ku or vote Lumire, just do it and we will see who do you think will win. This is uh, this is the decider match. Uh, already Mr. Kingdom advanced and this is the last best of three of today. Winner of this match will advance directly to the round of 16 of BSL5. Which is, by the way, sponsored by Blizzard. Huge shout out to Blizzard uh, for guys, sponsoring. Let's thank Blizzard that uh, they decided to support our tournament. Yeah, let's let's let them know that we are thankful. And this time drone scouting again from Mr. Ku. Yeah, but we have a, a 12 hatch expansion pool, whereas uh, Munir played 12 pool. This should favor a little bit 12 now. 12 hatch. Yeah. It should five with 12 hatch. There will be like the advantage of two larvas more for Ku, but overall there will be speed or layer advantage for, for Lumira. So it's not the end of the world. It's not like you are playing nine pool versus 12 hatch and you immediately lost as a 12 hatch player. But there is small advantage for Ku if he will play that correctly. So Blizzard sponsored $1,000 for BSL5 and $1,000 for BSL6. So they, and they gave us a code to be a, to be a prices for BSL Chobo Week, 20 euro uh, battle net codes you can use. So that's 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 really a lot for for Brood War. And I think yeah. everyone is happy. Maybe if we'll do a good job with uh, streaming, casting, playing, and viewing the, the game that. In future seasons, they will give us a little bit more. Yeah, There's this, this possibility. This is like just the first step, and yeah, we never had it. So don't forget to thank Biza when you will have occasion. But okay, we are already in the, in the game, and I think Lumira started with a layer first. Yes, yes, I think so. Also, uh, both players went for an expansion. Hmm.
Yeah, creep colony from Lumira, so he will. Yeah, he's adding more drones right now. Yeah, he's having a speed, so he probably started with a speed because now he's trying to abuse. Very nice blocking by Mr. Ku. Oh, he's trying to run by with two links, but Mr. Yeah, Ku is just too good for that. Nicely denied. Oh, oh. But now, oh, I thought he almost. got the chance. Almost. Oh, but and there is a speed now. So okay. the numbers are in favor of free limit advantage. Oh. Yes, the layer is already on the field. Like, how many drones? No, there is no chance that this attack will work. So yeah. there are like eight drones to the minerals, two to the gas, and like three, eleven. But look, look, at, to eight. look at the layer, uh, at the spire. Even though Lumiere had a faster layer, he has a slower spire. Yeah. And. But it will not matter a lot, a lot because it's like almost the same. But overall, mm, Lumiere. I mean, Ku added a few more drones. Lumiere is also droning up. So it will be probably Muta Battle in this game. And I think in Muta Micro, Lumiere is yeah. a little bit better than. You remember the Muta Micro of Lumiere, so. This could, uh, could go in a really nice way for him. Both players are escaping with the Overlords. They don't want to die from Muta's boomerangs. Ku is already mining gas in the natural. Yeah, this will give him a little bit of an advantage. And he had a faster uh, expansion to RDP. Hmm. Yeah, and, and more links from um, from Ku. Let's count it. It will be 12 and then 22 against 12 and the sand. And so it should be bustable. Yeah. All of the depends on the uh, drone drill. 66, 67% on Lumira, 33% on Ku. Yeah, and the own pool should be. It's, it's very nice position of the Sunken, but overall there are no numbers for for, for Lumira. And if he wouldn't micro, he would win this battle, I think. But the Mutas are just in time. But also the Scourges. Oh! Excellent sniping. So very nice attack by Mr. Ku. And Ku has like six limit advantage. That's really huge in Zvizi. Yeah, definitely. Six mutalis against four and against three only. And the scourge connected. Yeah, this mutalis will be easily easily dead in next engagement, even not by direct shot, but by the boomerangs of the mutalisks. And overall, Lumire, it looks like he's stabilizing. He is having like seven, nine drones mining minerals, the same amount as Ku. So, so they both have the same amount of drones, but Ku is having two mutalisk advantage. Mm, and some scourges also. Oh, what will be the micro? Very nice dodging. No, almost every scourge is connected. Oh, Mr. Ku is afraid of fighting. Very yeah. nice micro to. Our American Zerg, our fresh young blood. <laughs> oh, but look at those links. Oh, he killed three drones with two links. This value. Oh, now Lumira is the one who is attacking. The score just oh. not connecting. This guy is microing very nicely. Oh, the Mutas didn't know if they want to fight. They're doing whatever they can, but the numbers... Oh, Kun needs to be careful! Very nice macro. 
Maiko also. Both players really played nicely. <laughs> and Cook changed, like, he decided that he will mine from now to well from now on. <laughs> It will be yeah, harder to he, snipe drones. He gathers uh, gas through only with two drones. In the expansion. Hmm. Who is adding additional drones? He's got like uh, 12, 11, 14 against 10, 13. So 14, uh, one drone advantage. But Ku is mining only with two two drones, the gas in the natural, so it can be meaningful. Okay. And two two mutas advantage for our red red. No, the same amount of mutas. Excuse me. Oh. So the most significant battle in the whole game. Oh, who will win? The ice code is coming. Six against. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is oh. this is ZBZ world. Oh, oh my God! So please. devastating. One mistake. Yeah. Oh, and now one more mistake from losing this six six against four. So somehow. Who was able to make so many muta discs? Nice. Mike. Look at this micro, nothing connects. He lost nothing and killed four mutas and like six scourges. GG well played by Mr. Ku. Nicely done. Nicely. And it was a well played game. So, what will be the next map? Uh, it will be Secret Breaker. So, Secret Breaker and Lumiere is leading one, and he's only one game away from advancing to the round of 16 of Pro League, join joining Gosu players like Dandy, Koget, Dewalt, Eonzerk, Terror, Taito, Kingdom, and one of these two players will join them. <laughs> so I will make the game. Hmm. One or two games left, guys. So. And one or two uh, ZVZs. ZVZs. So should go really fast. <laughs> Yeah, and if you want to support BSL production, you can click on the minion below. For example, Mr. Mazur yesterday, I didn't thank him personally, but thank you for your donation, Mr. Mazur, no for, for your support. So, um, okay, we are ready to... A lot of guys supported, donated yesterday, uh, so I'm happy I was one of them. Yeah, it's... it's uh, it's these are the bricks which are building the uh yeah, guess, uh, the assets of our community <laughs> yeah the, the assets of our community okay i think we are ready to go to the yeah. game number two well maybe the last game even Close spawning positions. Ku has the purple Zerg in the top right corner, whereas Lumiere has the teal Zerg in the top left corner. Both Zergs are scouting in the correct, incorrect uh, positions to with their scout, although correct in terms of the way they should. I think in the previous game on on this map, when Ku scouted with this overload and 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 he was with in the, the middle, middle of the mat, yeah. map, he changed direction of flying. Let's see if he will do it this time too. Yeah. Hmm. You know, you know, Zero. I really like uh, today's cast because all of those players that uh, lost the whole best of three or the game said GG, well played, 
or when they fall out of the tournament, they said good games and good luck, good luck in the tournament. So really mother play by everyone. Yeah, you are right. Everyone is wishing good for, for other other players and it's the atmosphere is nice and, and you can always like it's it's much better to do it than just to like after the disconnect when players are fighting that they want to regain <laughs> the match or something. It's much better atmosphere to cast the games like this. Okay, and we have a night pool by Ku and an expansion. Expansion by Lumiere. So the tables has to have turned. Isn't it similar to the last game uh, on Circuit Breaker? Um, it's quite similar, but I can't recall if Ku was the one that played uh, Expansion. I think he played uh, Nine Pool and Lumiere played the Expansion and then Castle. Yeah, yeah, it was exactly the same, and even the drone scouting was the same. So <laughs> we will see what will happen here. Oh my god, poor Lumira. I don't know why he chose this strategy again. Because... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what will be the reaction this time on the Sanken. Hmm. Okay, and the Zealots, uh, the Zealots, the Zerglings. Uh, my Protoss heritage just <laughs> about itself. I don't know if Lumira knows about this drone. I think. Okay. And now the sunken immediately oh, okay, drone okay. pool. Oh, he might be able to kill the sun, but he have to build the one, uh, his own sunken now. And he didn't cancel the hatch. Oh yeah, it will be devastating. But maybe if he will somehow kill this lynx. With his own links, he will have few links in a second. He should he he should fight. He should fight with the drones. It is the best possible yeah. moment. Right now. Yeah, and this time it's a little bit different than in a previous game because there is second hatchery. The Sanken will fall, but there will be speed for Mr. Ku. Oh, oh, oh the nice. hero drones. And now two hatcheries versus one hatchery, but uh, Lumire don't have money for the links. So if he's not mining, then he's oh. not producing links. Oh my god. Yeah, there, there will be only like this four links for Mr. Lumire. Yeah, he can't produce from these two hatcheries, poor guy. <laughs> yeah. I think one or two more games like this and he will know how to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, and, and then we will have a player who knows how to play 12 hatch against 9 pool. <laughs> ah. hmm. And Ko is going with uh, expansion of his own. Yeah, so he will. He wants to win this game on Zerglings. GG from Lumiere. Okay. Well done. Hmm, 418 APM from our young fresh blood. So. Mm. Last guy. He's clicking so a lot. Yeah. So we're going to the last game of today's BSL group. Group E. Group E. The score is 1-1, one, one, so... Hmm. The last map will be selfie. so Lumiere won set 1 on Aztec, second set was for Mr. Ku, and now we will have decider match um, on Salfit. Hmm. We had the same maps probably in the previous series and on Salfit I think there was 9 pull from Lumira versus uh, 12 pull from Ku and he 
uh, and he play 12 pull into sunken into layer into main base and and he get incredibly high advantage by by the first like five muta risks let's yeah. see what this time lumira will will show to us oh. and cool of course and cool of course yeah, we'll see in like two, three minutes because uh, could ask for a two minute break. Yeah, boys, so okay. now we can answer your questions. Yeah, if you have any questions, feel free uh, to ask them. We'll try to answer. And Karolcha, yeah, this is the last game, Karolcha. Yeah, Karolcha asked if, no, if we got, during the last game, she asked if this is the last game. So I said this will be the last. Oh yeah, so this 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 is um decider match. Who will advance? Lumiwe on Ku. These are the beautiful profiles. Um, San Diego versus Nuaviet. Hmm. Yeah, both of them. We was talking about it before, right? With that but they both like sulfit map. So the decisive match will be uh, on Salfit, the map that both players like. Okay, we can go because uh, Ku is back. And a favorite moment of Ku is winning BSL for Chobolik. So, <laughs> yeah, you you should play BSL uh, Chobolik to win it and to feel what Mr. Ku have felt. <laughs> so, okay, Mr. Mazu, I'm opening the slot. Excuse me. Mm. So yeah, the map will be Salafit, the decider match. <clears throat> we are going to the game. Mr. Mazu is warming up. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready, boys? Yeah, they both ready, both ready. So we are going directly to the last game of today. Okay, let's go. Even the same positions, I think. Yeah, I know. I think Ku was on the, the position. They, they changed. Yeah, reverse positions. Uh, reverse positions. So this time Lumira is on winner's position. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, because I'm also cheering for Mr. Ku. This is so such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. Uh, and he... Uh, he won BSL uh, Chobo League Finals, I think, with Mr. Favorite, if I'm correct, 4 to 2, if I'm correct. So, Mr. Favorite is also a very good Protoss player. Yeah, he plays, plays really good. So, ZVZ. No 5 pull. <laughs> yeah. No 5 pull from either of the players. Yeah. This must be the best game of their player's life, because if not, they will be out of BSL5. Uh, Ku is going uh, with the Gastric again. Yeah, and I don't know what to think about it, but maybe it's worth it. I, I remember when I uh, first uh, was informed about the Gastric. Somebody in the internet cafe showed me. And I was like, whoa, man, this is so great. And we <laughs> started to do uh, right after uh, we did it with gas, creep colony, and evo chamber. <laughs> Just to make free <laughs> drones. Free <laughs> yeah. drones, yeah. Was, that was so noobish, uh, but still. <laughs> But but still, like I I remember the guy that was like the the lance made by Zach, uh, the the leader of ZZZ team, and he he got like this this work in this cultural house when he was learning small childs how to play brood war, and <laughs> and there was like a lot of children, like maybe 30, 30 children coming there because there was like eight computers there, and there was one child on the, a child on the tournament who. He came and played one of the, his first game and he I remember with the first four drones he made gas uh, evolution chamber uh, creep colony and second creep colony and he had no money for the drone so <laughs> it was it was the fastest suicide you can make <laughs> in, in brood war okay and what do we see in the game 12 pool versus 
12 hatch in the in the in the main base so now it's hard to say who have advantage hmm. i'm sure we will see a lot of links from mr ku because uh, lumir has to, he showed us over uh, to us over and over how great crypto micro he has so ku should <laughs> should try to to end the game before mute us <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe that's his strategy. He showed to us that he is very good strategic player. So um, let's see what he will decide to do and if he will start. Yeah, he's he start later, so it's it's still fine. Thank you for the follow, my friend. So now he's. I don't know why he's like he, he, why he wants to fight links versus links because it's it's obvious that could have more. Yeah, and uh, there will be sunken. Double Evo Chamber? Oh, <laughs> did you see what? that Quasar? Uh, yeah, <laughs> he made it! <laughs> <laughs> Called it like a boss. <laughs> oh, yeah, and four links more without an overload. This is called huge aggression mode. Like the meta. New meta, yeah, double <laughs> gas, double evo. But he forgot about two links in his main. <laughs> yeah, one evo chamber wasn't. Oh, second sunken from sunken from Lumira. Huh, I think because now Ku can make like six more drones and and make hatchery after that. So in the expansion, he still will be fine. So. You should not overcommit into the Sankens too. Yeah, but but we need to remember that that Ku doesn't know about the second Sanken. Oh yeah, and uh, he is making more and more links. Lumira is morphing the Sanken. Uh, Ku needs to invest in map hack. <laughs> yeah, he should buy so, a map. It's impossible to play without map hack these days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, of course, Joe. Yeah, I never use map hack. So I mean, I used in against computer the the codes black sheep wall, which, which <laughs> was the map. The <laughs> yeah, show me the money. But it was only against computer, only on single player. And there was some uh, operation something. Uh, operation to fall, I think. Oh, oh yeah, that uh, eastern building. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and power overwhelming for energy. It was very good, uh, get, get very good way of testing things. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it appears that Q uh, Q made a lot of zerglings, so probably he will try to break it, break the defense of uh, Lumir at the early stage. And look how nicely he hidden uh, his group of zerglings back. That but uh, Lumir's overlord won't see. It. He thinks that he's safe, but he isn't. And and this drone is here probably to make evolution chamber. Oh. Nice. Very nicely done. And oh, but I think this is just too much links. But very nice Sim City overall. The Sankens are doing the job they need, but the numbers are in favor of Mr. Ku. Of course, the Mutas will be there in a few seconds, but but also the so same as the Scourges. Oh, he is target firing the Spire. Huh. Oh, one Muta died. Oh, he's target firing this hatchery. He might be able to do it. Oh, we've sniped both hatchery snipe and so many scourges coming in. Yeah. Lumira, it's impossible to win this game, I think. GG. Yeah. And Ku is the one who is joining, who is joining Mr. Kingdom and advancing. Whoa, that was a lot of links. Yeah, that was a lot of links. <laughs> nicely executed. Yeah, very nicely executed. And this was very good like experience of Mr. Ku. We saw that he had like, he know what to play. He know how to react. Mr. Lumire, his micro of Muta, not links, was much better, but 
you don't like you can't win uh, the game with only Muta Micro. So and he felt like this is like even this Evo Chamber was good, but yeah. there was something missing. And congratulations! So congratulations to Mister uh, Cook and and to Mister Kingdom because they both advanced uh, to the um, to the BSL five round of sixteen, and they joined, if I'm correct, uh, Dandy Koget. Amozek, Dewalt, Taito Terror, and now Kingdom and Ku. So, 8 players out of 16 are already known. And, and what's the next group? Who will play in the next group? Mm. And what will, uh, will be played? Uh, it will be on next Saturday. Mm, I think it will be Group A, but I need to check it before because we we like uh, needed to change the the order of of casting the groups because because we needed to to like adjust it to the players uh, free time. Mm. 